so friends this is our uh, circuit diagram so uh, this region which you see over here is our transmitter circuit and the, this whole part is our receiver circuit so in the transmitter circuit there's nothing we are just using an IR LED to throw the IR radiation so that it can be received by the photodiode and this uh, this region in between acts as the medium where we will be de detecting the intrusions so we are using a 330 ohm to regulate the current which is passing through IR LED so that it gives out the correct LED uh, wavelength which is required so basically here we have put a photodiode so the basic working principle of a photodiode is that when it receives light its resistance is too low and when it stops receiving light its resistance grows high uh, so basically when there is no object in between that is the IR radiations are received by the photodiode so the resistance will be quite low so we can say that the base voltage is not uh, is nearly grounded like there will be too low base voltage so we can we can say that the VBE uh, this VBE across this uh, base emitter junction is not properly regulated so this transistor uh, which we are configured to be working as a switch will not be in the on state so there will be no disturbance in this circuit as soon as there is an intrusion pressure in between the IR photo I will stop receiving the IR radiation so its uh, resistance will grow high it will now be comparable to this 10 kilo ohm resistor so what will happen this base will have a uh, base voltage will be something apart from the zero which we got in the earlier case so the vbe will become positive and hence the np junction which is present here in the transistor which uh, which we are using this is a basic bc 547 transistor so it will become uh, in the forward batch and hence the transistor will be in on state and it will start conducting so as it will start conducting the current which is entered here gets split into two parts so this current which will be driven into this loop will activate the relay hence once the relay is activated by its pin 1 uh, the relay is initially in the normally closed condition which is the connect a uh, switch between common and C so as soon as the, the voltage at 1 gets high the switch gets transferred from COM to NC to COM to NO so as soon as it is get connected here the buzzer circuit will get complete so we can see that the buzzer will start ringing the purpose of shorting this one with the NO is that once the intrusion is detected the buzzer will keep on ringing and the relay will not switch back into its initial state even if the intrusion is happening so we need to disconnect all our power supplies and then uh, reset the circuit and so that it can work again so if we don't put this wire over here so if the intrusion moves too fast or is not there uh, and uh, it tries to escape uh, too fast so we will not be able to hear the circuit beeps continuously and hence it goes unnoticeable so we need to short this terminals so here is our circuit now we can see that when the intrusion is placed in between the circuit will start buzzing continuously till we disconnect the power supplies so for the calculation of the base voltage which was required across the transistor we use transistor we use the following formulas like we found the bias of the voltage from the data sheets of the bc547 that came around to be some uh, 1 volts, 1.5 volts or something something in between that depends from the manufacturer to manufacturer so we need to check that so after checking we calculate it and accordingly we fix the RD and R2 values so that's why we fix the 10 kilo ohm over the thing and here is our block diagram for which we used and the logic which we used for the building of the circuit so you can see it like we uh, choose the resistance and all as I explained earlier this is the further part of the block diagram so for the event timeline like uh, we started the project first like we selected the title then we did some software simulations the simulations were basically done in the software Proteus and PSPICE then we uh, study individual components like we calculated which NPN transistor is to use and all so we found BC5% to be good then we found the RD R2 values then we purchased our components made the breadboard finally we had to use some troubleshooting like there are some problems in the circuit which we had to rectify then finally we reached this stage so here you can see that uh, this is our final project we have also manufactured the PCBs for the same 
so uh, so in our project basically this is not just an intrusion detector we also have various other applications like we can use the same circuit to detect empty bottles on a production line like if the bottle is empty the IR radiations will pass through it and hence will not get any uh, readings and if the bottle is full uh, we will uh, the IR radiation will not be able to pass and hence it will burst to keep a check that whether the bottle is filled or not or we can reverse the logic so that we can get the scene also there are many other uses like uh, we can use it as a proximity sensor and all so uh, basically this uh, uh, and there are many f future scopes possible like we can control this circuit uh, via a microcontroller and use it to detect the distance range and the number of times and all